Welcome, everybody. I'm back with another walk and talk Christmas edition. I'm getting some steps in on this brisk December. At the filming of this, we're less than a week from Christmas. So I thought I would talk about, in my opinion, the five worst Christmas songs. Songs that are just plain right terrible. So, some of these might be controversial, so if you want to comment, you can weigh in. At number five, I'm going to have a tie and cheat. And I'm talking to you, Mariah Carey. All I want for Christmas is you. Yes, it's a classic. Everybody loves it. They play it 20 trillion times a Christmas. Every time you go to a light show, the lights are twinkling to this song and it always screws me up because it's copyrighted and if you even play that song for a second your YouTube video will get flagged so that's why I hate it but it's just annoying and I think we've overheard it too much and it needs to go but tied with that and I'm sorry to say I know it's catchy Feliz Navidad I mean have you listened there's like 15 words to the whole song Feliz Navidad, Los, what, something, Años y Felicidad. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. That's it. That's all the song. They just say it over and over and over and over again for like three minutes. What is that? I mean, it's catchy for like a second, but it needs to go. And my arm is getting tired, so I'm switching arms. So... That's number five. A tie between Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas, and Feliz Navidad by whoever sings that song. I assume some Hispanic singer. At number four, and I'm sorry, this is another controversial one, but I'm sorry, this song is just boring. It's drab, it's blah, it's been around forever, and it's, I think it's just called the Christmas song. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose, is that how it goes? It's like, and they know Santa's on his way. I mean, God, that is the most blah song. I'm all about a crooner. You know, like Tony Bennett, Frank Sinatra, those type of singers, Andy Williams. I like that kind of songs every now and then, but this song is just blah. And I just don't get the fascination. That's number four, the Christmas song. Has anyone ever roasted chestnuts on an open fire? Ever? Like, what? Um, number three, this song is just downright terrible. I don't know what the fascination is with this song, but if you turn on the radio, or if you go into any kind of store or mall or anywhere, the odds that you're gonna hear this song is about 100% within the first 10 minutes you're there. That is, I don't know if it's George Michael or I don't know if it's Wham. It's the same thing. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart and the very next day, you took it away. Oh my God, it's God awful. It's horrible. Does anyone like this song? It's just, the, the, the melody is boring. The message is stupid. It's overall just horrible. Last Christmas. God, can you think of a more dreary down song you want to hear at Christmas? God, let's get some upbeat stuff. All right, number two. This song, let me switch hands again. This song did not age well. I never even heard of this song until like the last 10 years. But I guess it was a phenomenon in the mid 80s. Uh, and now it is in heavy rotation and it is borderline inappropriate. I think it needs to be canceled. It's, it's kind of degrading to the people of Africa. Um, even more, even more, I think it's even more terrible than like Santa Baby and Baby It's Cold Outside and those controversial songs. This is Do They Know It's Christmas Time At All slash Feed the World. Like I'm all about feeding the world. No complaints there. But have you listened to the words of this song? It's who wrote this? It's who? 
what, what's going on in the song? When Bono screams out, thank God it's them instead of you. And there won't be snow in Africa this Christmas. Who cares? Do they, there's no snow in Miami. There's no snow in many countries and parts of the world. Um, do the people of Africa care that it's Christmas? So I don't think the whole continent is Christian. But man, oh man, this is just, this song is brutal. And there won't be snow in Africa this Christmas. The only thing they'll get this year is life. What? Can we just help Africa without making ourselves seem like we're all mighty, powerful, and better than them? This song, this song's terrible. It is horrible. It's on all the time. I don't know why. I never heard this song growing up, but in the last 10, 15 years, it's everywhere. So I'm not sure what's going on. And that brings us to number one. This song, I don't know what the fascination is with this. I, I don't get it. Um, I am a big fan of the artist who sings it, both as a solo act and in a group. Uh, he's one of the most influential, greatest musicians, singers of all time. But this song needs to go. I'm talking to you, Paul McCartney, simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Oh my word. This song is on every five minutes. It's dull. The melody's boring. He just says simply having a wonderful Christmas time over and over and over. Da 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 da. I mean, it is like elevator, office, doctor visit music times a thousand. It's, it's horrible. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. I don't get it. Does anyone agree with any of the songs on this list? I know there are many, many songs, but if you have any ideas, let me know. With that being said, may the adventure continue.